Hey Capricorn, Empress 777 here today with the general love reading for the first half of January. Happy New Year's guys. This is going to be geared towards messages from your person, what they're thinking, what they want to say, what they may be hiding, all that good stuff, okay? These readings are general, okay? So take what resonates, leave the rest. All right, put yourself where you belong in the story. Cross watchers are welcome. If it sounds like I'm talking about your person, I might be. Um, or vice versa, okay? So holy angels and spirit guides, please give me clear and concise messages for my Capricorns. First half of January. Thank you for all the love and support thus far. Our channel is definitely growing, guys. If you have not clicked that subscribe button, please do so now. <laughs> all right, click the like button also. Let's jump right in, okay? I got my little makeshift messages from your person cards. Let's see what we have here. Hope you guys are all doing well. Well, these are difficult to shuffle. Okay. What messages do we have from my Capricorn's person? What do they need to say? What are they trying to say? I couldn't tell you the truth. Okay, somebody's hiding something, guys. They're hiding their true feelings. They're hiding who they really are. Something is hidden, though. Um, you may have, uh, maybe something happened and they wouldn't take accountability, but their ego may not have allowed them to tell the truth. Wow, okay, I cannot take all of these spirit. I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> toxic, yeah, that definitely sounds like a toxic trait. Um, someone who doesn't take accountability for what is obvious, what you obviously see going on. This is someone who will still deny the reality of a situation. They did the same thing to me. Okay, so this is someone who is struggling with things from the past. Maybe they went through um, situations or relationships in the past where they were done wrong or they could currently be receiving karma for whatever it is that they have done. This person does have some toxic, um, some toxic traits that they need to release. Paranoid. Yeah, this is why they treat people this way. This is somebody who tries to protect themselves, but their um, methods of going about that are toxic. Intimidation. So they definitely feel intimidated by the energy that they feel with you in this connection. Okay. Yeah, I definitely feel like this is somebody who tried to protect themselves. Um, and in doing so, they may have definitely sabotaged things between the two of you. Let's see what we got. I couldn't tell the truth. The sun. Okay, so this may be, yeah. I feel like this person was wearing a false mask, Capricorn. They may have tried to give the illusion like they didn't really or truly have feelings for you. Um, This is... A defense mechanism. This is how they protect themselves. This is someone who tries to protect themselves from a heartbreak. Maybe it's because of what happened to them in the past with that they did the same thing to me card. The lovers. All right. So maybe this person was focused on more of the physical portion of the relationship. The lovers is a really passionate card. It could be a newer connection that has just gone sour because this is like the dating phase, meeting someone that you are extremely magnetically attracted to, but there's lots of passion there. And that may be what's driving them. This could be the toxic trait that they need to release, of course. It could be um, someone who doesn't actually speak about how they feel in reference to the more in-depth emotions, but they're all about the sex, you know? That's an issue. Um, they did the same thing to me. So we have the Eight of Wands crossing that, guys. This person may be coming in to have a conversation with you to let you know why they behave this way. I do feel like I do feel like they they are intimidated at just how strong of a connection this turned out to be. This could have hit them by surprise. Okay, when they met you, they didn't expect for you guys to hit it off, you know, as strongly as you did. So because you guys had such a strong and magnetic attraction, they almost felt obligated to be more open emotionally, but that's just not something that they're capable of right now. And that's the toxic trait that they may need to release. They may share this with you. That Eight of Wands is communication. It's fast moving communication too. Yeah, so... 
they are worried that it's done, done, done. They're worried that you're walking away, that you feel maybe it's just less of a headache to just be single, right? You have everything that you need. You don't necessarily need this person. It was nice to have them around, but their behavior is making you second guess, you know, even entertaining them, right? So it comes to a point where if you have everything, like all of your essentials are taken care of. You have a great job, you have a nice car, good house, your family is good. You're, you essentially have your, your, your shit together. So you don't necessarily need another person. You would be perfectly happy single. Having companionship though is a plus. It's a cherry on top, but not if it's gonna come with toxicity. And so I feel like that's where you're at. And I think that they can feel that energetically as well. Wow, that definitely popped out. We got the fool. Could be dealing with an Aries. Uh, we also have Earth, such as yourself. So Virgo, Capricorn, um, or Taurus, or a Leo, or a Gemini. <laughs> um, so definitely either an Earth sign or a fire sign you could be dealing with. Um this is somebody who definitely feels intimidated, guys. They feel like you will not accept their offer back. They think that they they messed it up. They feel like they've gone too far. Um, like it may have been the last straw. That's what I heard. So this could be somebody who you've already had this conversation with. So it's like, we're not going to continue to have the same conversations over and over. I'm not going to waste my breath like that. I don't. I just simply don't have time for that. I don't have to deal with that. So that's the kind of energy that I'm getting. And I feel like they can feel that too, guys. That's why it says that they're paranoid. They're scared. So they are coming back in. There's communication. They're going to want to share with you what's happened to them in the past. This is why they conduct themselves this way. Um, but ultimately, it's not working for them. Um, I definitely get the vibe that they feel like this is a soulmate. Like you're their soulmate, right? Like a divinely guided uh, connection. They feel like you're their divine counterpart. Um, they know what they need to release. This is not someone who is unaware of what they are doing. I get the feeling that this has happened in prior connections, but the connection with you, they, they definitely don't, they don't want to sabotage it to the point where there's no coming back, which could have possibly happened in their last relationships. That's what they're going to be sharing with you. Healing family issues. Yeah. This person has some internal issues that they definitely need to take care of. Um, if they, if they, if they want things to work, you know, they got to do that. They have to do that. They have to heal themselves. Um, when when you have toxic traits that you need to heal from the past um, that are still affecting you and your connections currently, I don't know if it's fair to ask the other person to tolerate you through that um, healing process. Like, I kind of feel like that's something that you should be doing on your own, unless you guys are like married and there's like a, a solid higher level of commitment at hand. But if not, then that's unfair, you know? Especially you don't know how long that process will take. You want to ensure that somebody is fully healed before you're actually letting them back in. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. Yeah, they're coming, guys. They're coming quick, fast, and in a hurry. They are paranoid. And intimidated. So this is someone who feels like the second you decide that it's really done, you're going to have somebody the next minute. Like they know this. They know this. So they're scared. But they are coming to talk to you and see if you guys can get on a level playing field. Why? Because the attraction is heavy, heavy, heavy. They think you are so sexy. The sun. I feel like they view you as that. Um, this person knows the toxic traits in which they hold. Um, so they view themselves almost as the darkness. But with you, it like illuminated them. Like you're the light. You're the sun to them. So they are going to want to fix this Capricorn. I don't know if you're down for it, but they are coming, okay? All right, guys, that's what I have gotten. If you have not clicked that subscribe button, please do so. Click the like button and we will reconvene next time.